Hello, this is Pastor Mark Taylor, and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, fighting the good fight. Now, I'm not talking about Christians fighting against each other. I'm talking about fighting this, uh, the devil and fighting the problems that we have in, in our Christian life. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 4, 7 through 8, Paul is giving uh, some instructions to uh, a younger preacher friend of his. And he's saying this, I have fought the good fight. And I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there's laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. There's uh, a, a race we're in. There's an uh, event that we're in. It's called this Christian life. In the sports world, uh, we don't remember a lot about uh, our favorite athlete, how they started out, how many losses they had, uh, how many uh, strikeouts they had, how many fumbled balls they had. But we do remember when they finish the season, and especially if the team is going toward the championship. And uh, that is where we need to be focused in our Christian life is, is fighting this good fight and making it to the end uh, so the Lord can bless us and give us his crown of righteousness and give us blessings while we're on this pathway to this place. You know, throughout the Bible, we find men and women of God who, who were in the fight. Some of them quit. Some of them stumbled along the way. But many of them finished, and they finished well. And that's what God wants you and I to do is to finish in this uh, uh, Christian life and not to quit. And for all of you that are running this race and you're still in the race, I would encourage you to, to know that there's a lot of other Christians that are still with you. Uh, yes, there have been, there are a lot of discouraging reports out there about uh, the, the morality of our nation and the problems that are uh, in our society. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of people still in this uh, fighting the good fight and living for Jesus and living a pure life and, and doing what they can in the service of Christ. You know, the Greeks had an a Olympic game, uh, and one of them was where the, uh, the winner was not the person that ran the fastest, but it was the person who kept their, their torch lit through the whole race, and they crossed the finish line with their, their torch lit. Let's, you and I, keep our torch lit for the Lord and keep running that race. To give you some ideas on how to keep in this race and keep going, uh, the first one is to stay focused on, on what you're headed for. We're headed for eternity. We're headed for uh, thousands and thousands of years in the future uh, where we are going to be uh, reaping the rewards of that Christian life that you and I have have uh, struggled through over these short period of years here on earth. Even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, knew that he was going to have some difficult days upon this earth. But listen to this verse out of Hebrews that explains what kept Jesus going. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded with such a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Lord Jesus Christ came to earth and went through all he went for to redeem us, to give us salvation, but also to please his Father, also to sit down and, and receive the rewards uh, of, of the work that he had done while he was on this earth. Well, to fight the, the good fight of faith, we, we need to uh, fight against those hindrances of sin that keeps us from uh, serving God. Each of us have different things in our life that Satan puts in our pathway to discourage us and try to trip us up. And we just need to stay in God's word and stay in prayer and asking God for deliverance, for, for strength uh, to overcome these hindrances. Well, to, to fight this good faith fight of 
uh, a fight. We need to also uh, build and strengthen our faith that we have. We do this by spending time with God in prayer, reading the Bible, coming to church, uh, coming not just on Sunday morning, but Sunday afternoon if you have a service, uh, Wednesday night Bible studies, small group Bible studies. These things will strengthen your faith and keep you in the battle. And finally, the, the, to, to uh, fight this, this fight, you need to finish. You don't need to quit when things get difficult and when, when you get discouraged. You need to just keep on. Each of you have been given talents and gifts. And, and your talent and gift is very important in the work of God and the work uh, at in uh, the, the place He has given you to serve. And, and if you quit, you're not only going to uh, lose the race, but you're going to trip up, up other people that were in the race behind you and watching you, and you're going to discourage them, and they're going to drop out of the race too. So it's very important that you do uh, the, 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 use your talents and your gifts for the Lord. Uh, the assigned job that God has given you uh, may sound simple to you, and it may not be you know real uh, glorified type of job. But if it's maintenance around the church, keep doing it. If it's teaching a Sunday school class, keep doing it. If it's watching the nursery, keep doing it. If it is visiting the sick, keep doing it. Finish the work that Christ has given you to do. When you keep doing all these things and running this race, and one day you're going to to meet the Lord face to face and he's going to say something like this the Bible says well done thou good and faithful servant you've been faithful over a few things I'll make you rule over many do you realize that God's going to give you a lot more responsibility when he comes back down to earth and he sets up his millennial reign for over a thousand years and then after that no telling how many uh, millions of years we will be walking and serving with, with the Lord and, and, uh, re and reaping uh, the rewards of staying faithful and staying in this fight. It won't be much longer before the Lord comes back or we go to meet the Lord. So stay faithful and may God give you that strength that you need uh, to, to do that. And you do your part and God will do His part. God bless you.